Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Craftworks. Hope you're all good. Hope you're having a nice day. This video is to finish off our staff. Now, I'm not going to do the, the varnish in this because there's still little bits I need to add for the customer. Uh, but I will show you in this video how I painted it. So you'll see me do a marble effect, a gem effect, and a metallic gold over the top of it. So it'll look a little bit like this. So we have some gems, we have some, some metallic gold, some more gems, and then our marble effect. Okay, and this goes for the entire length of the staff. So all I've got to do now is add the personal touches that I need for the customer, and then I can varnish the whole thing, and she's done. So uh, I hope you'll stick with us and watch through, and uh, hopefully build your own, and post me some comments that you're building your own. I'd like to see them. Okay guys, so let's jump straight into it. So we're starting with our marble effect. Uh, for this I'm just using flexi paint white with a bit of kitchen towel. Scrunch the kitchen towel up and get some nice little crunch in there. And then just dab it on. You want to try and keep it all going the same direction. For mine I'm doing it on a 45 degree angle down. And I'm just dabbing it on nice and gently. Once we've put on our white marble, we need a separate piece of kitchen towel and just dab it off so we're fading that white. We don't want it standing out too brightly. Next, we put a bit of water on our brush and we literally just go over that again, wiping off any excess and we're just gonna dab it down afterwards. With our background marble effect done, we take a small brush, same white, and staying within that white margins that we've just done, put in them towards the middle, just start putting some little thicker lines. That's the center of our marble vein. With our lines done, we just dab on with a nice dry bit of cloth just to fade it out. We don't want it too bright and blend it in. With our first section done, we move on to the other sections. Just wash and repeat. A bit of dabbing, dry it out, lines, dry it out, and just follow the same pattern. Next is on to the gems. Now for the gems, the first part we're going to do is use a flexi paint red and just give all our gems a nice thin base coat. With the base coat complete, we then move on to the second stage still with just the flexi paint red and then we start adding our gem effect if you need to know how to do this i do have a video on how to paint gems on my channel Thank you. 
Okay, now we're on to the gold. So for this we're using Flexi Paint Gold Powders, mixed with a bit of Flexi Paint Clear, and we're literally just spreading it on, all going the exact same way. Next we move on to the parts around the gem. This is the clasp that holds the gem to the staff. Make sure you give them a nice gentle coat of gold. Try not to go onto your gems obviously. We're into the final stages now. All we're going to use is a little bit of Tamara Black and between the gem and the actual clasp section we're just going to put a faint, faint black line just so it looks as though the, it's a gem held in there by this clasp, not just painted on. Our final bit of detail is using the Tamara Smoke. Now this goes on any part where two angles meet on your gold. So where a ring would go round, you would just put a little bit of the smoke just in the corner, just to resemble a bit of grime or grit, just to separate them slightly. Okay guys, so that's it for this one. We've uh, managed to do a marble effect, a gem effect, and a metallic gold effect. So just remember when you're doing your gold, make sure it goes always the same way. That way it looks like it's been worked, like somebody's gone over it with a file, or smoothed it out and polished it, okay? Gems, remember, pick a, uh, when you're doing a gem, pick an angle where the light's coming in. So whenever the, I use a 45 degree angle from the top, because my light's here, so when I'm painting, the light's coming in this way. All right, and when you do that, the light parts are opposite to where the light comes in. The light hits the glass of the gem, and it's darker. Where it reflects out at the opposite end is lighter. Okay, and the marble effect, remember, dab it on, dry it off. Dab it on, dry it off. Simple as that. And yeah, you will end up with something like this, hopefully. So yeah, I hope that helps. Hope you enjoy painting that and uh, I hope you do give it a go. If you are building one, please let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, and um, yeah, that's it for this one. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe and the bell button. Uh, you can check out other works I've done on my Instagram and my Facebook. The links are all in the description below. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you soon. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.